Good morning, everybody. Welcome to my channel. My name is Anya. If you haven't been here before, very foggy out today. Yes, I went full on unicorn. It's cool, huh? Anyway, um, Leo, you kicked ass last month. I mean, seriously. I am astounded by the views from Leo. So I'm going to go for Leo first this, this month because you guys, you, you really showed me some love last month and I appreciate that very much. So we're going to go Leo first. And see what we get. my camera down on the on the cards now that I've introduced myself hi okay let's go down to the cards hopefully you can hear me better because I went ahead and got a microphone everybody's saying how hard it was to hear me so I went ahead and got me a microphone let's see how well it works Okay, Spirit's telling me to shuffle these a couple more times. Okay, all right, Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising. Let's see what we get this month. Where are we at right now? This is for August 2019. Where are my Leos sitting right now? Oh, we got a bunch of them jump out. Okay. Um, well, seems like you're doing all right. I mean, you are the sun. Happy birthday, Leo. This is your month to shine. So, take that take that as a sign. This is your this is your time. Shine them lights. Okay? You have a lot of choices. See? This could be the card of illusions, but could also be the card of choices. So, you can take that as you have so many choices. You might have a Libra in your in your midst, or you're balancing out the scales in your life. The love life, the pentacles, the you're balancing it. See the scales? Or you you know, you're you're trying to give to too many people. That'll wear you out, so don't do that. Okay? What does Leo have to look forward to the first of the month? I mean, where you're at right now is the sun, so... <laughs> wow. You got the fool. Yay! New beginnings. Taking that leap of faith. Put you all up in your head about it. Must be all those choices. Sometimes we can't decide when we have too many. Especially in money. Uh, yep. Seven of Pentacles. Or Eight of Pentacles, sorry. You're working your butts off. And that could be uh, your choices. Your choices could be in career and finances. And that's why you're all up in your head about it. But you're going to take that leap of faith. This is the 1st of August. What is going to change? Mm. 
Mm, temper. Ah, walking away from something. The Eight of Cups. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Okay, so you're deciding to walk away from something. It must be whatever's troubling you because everything else looks absolutely beautiful. So whatever's troubling you in the beginning of the month, it looks like you're going to walk away from it. Or you're going to go back to it. I mean, that could go either way. Page of Pentacles. This is what's going to change. Now, either this page is not what he says. It got inner conflict on the bottom. So, you got some conflict here about what you're going to do. Either walk away or take the offer. Okay, this is what's going to change. It's all free will, guys. You, I mean, if it sounds too good to be true, a lot of times it is. And then you got a Sagittarius card. If you're dealing with a Sagittarius. And. This says do things in modesty. Protect yourself. Temper yourself. Sorry guys. My throat chakra is completely out of whack. From these transits. They have. Phew, they kicked my butt. I don't know about anybody else. Um, coming back with a vengeance, though. I'll clarify these when I'm done. So we can get more information. Um, what are going to be your challenges? King of Swords. Aquarius. Air Energy. This is your challenge. The sword of truth. Reality. Okay. The star. Another Aquarius. Are you dealing with an Aquarius, Leo? Because these both are Aquarius cards. This is your challenge. Peace and harmony is what the star card represents. And the nine of cups. Wow. Okay. So your challenge. Let me look at these for a minute. Your challenge is an Aquarian energy of the truth. And wish fulfillment. So you're going to have to overcome. Your wish fulfillment. Maybe. Um, that's an ego thing. Maybe. You're too much in your ego. That's what I'm hearing. Um, ego. Ego. Because you got the sun card right off the bat. That's where you're at right now. And you got a lot of choices. Given to a lot of people. Working on something that's got you up in your head. But deciding to take a leap of faith. Walking away from something. That no longer serves you. Deciding not to take a pen. Deciding not to take this message because this is this is what's going to change. And doing things in modesty and being tempered, that's going to change. Your challenge is an Aquarius and wish fulfillment. So, like I said, maybe in the sun card, you're a little too much in your ego... So you need to like back off and especially where if you have an Aquarius involved, Aquarians are kind of uh, aloof. So I'm 
I know that for a fact. I have a roommate who's an Aquarius. Um, so your challenge is going to be to back off of your wish fulfillment because of your ego. Because it looks like it might be getting the better of you. Okay. Let's look into your love life. You got the Knight of Pentacles. Yay. There's somebody there who's offering for the long haul. Judgment. So somebody's making a judgment call here in love. Maybe that wish. Whoa, that wish fulfillment. Three of Cups. Too many people involved. I see it already. Oh, goodness. You wouldn't believe the cards that popped out, but I'm not going to take them. And we got... I need to burn my hair, did I? hope not. Um, you have the Three of Cups. So there's three... There's three people involved here. The Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, or a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Yeah, in your love life. Uh, like I said, I'll clarify when I'm finished. I'm getting a couple more uh, decks of cards. Um, this is your career and finances. Okay. Career and finances. You get the same thing as love. Wow. This is weird. This is really weird. Are you dealing with somebody that is your boss? Maybe? Are you, are you involved with the person that you're in business with? Or... Or possibly a boss. Because you, your love and your career came out real close. Okay, at the end of the month. Page of Wands. So far. I'm going to pull the Ascension deck too. To help clarify this. Uh -huh. Ten of Cups. By the end of the month. Yay. Need that. So apparently you're going to make the right choice. One more. Oh, no, no, no. Too many. One more for the end of the month. Oh, goodness. I'll be glad when my new cards get here. I mean, I love these cards, don't get me wrong, but they're, they're getting quite old. And they're not sliding as well as they used to. Queen of Wands, Sagittarius. Okay, and on the bottom we have the Knight of Cups. Wow, guys. You're dealing with a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, or a Sagittarius, or a Virgo. Or an Aquarius. There's a lot of people on this board. And I don't see, the only one I see of you is the full... The Eight of Cups, Seven of Cups, Six of Pentacles, and Sun. Okay. Oh, wow. All right. Let's clarify the, uh, the Seven of Cups. And then where you're at right now. 
all the choices that you have. Yeah, helicopters everywhere. But now that I got the disnipped microphone, maybe that won't be so bad. We got lovers. So, you're at a point where you have a choice between lovers. All right. Well, that has to be your call. That has to be your free will. So, where you're at right now, basking in your glory as a Leo. Happy birthday. Um, you got a lot of choices. And you're given to those choices. But you need to balance it out. Because it involves lovers. So maybe you have too many right now. And you need to make a choice. Okay? So you can be the sun. The Leo that you are. Okay? Let's clarify the Nine of Swords as the first of the month. What is this Nine of Swords all about? Goodness. Can you stop it with the helicopters? Alright. I'm being told to take them. Okay, beginning of the month. Something that you've been working at. You're up in your head about because you had a tower moment and you're disappointed. But you're choosing to take that leap of faith anyway. Okay? Yeah. Something that you were working really hard at Eight of Pentacles. Got you all up in your head. Caused a tower moment. Left you disappointed. But it's not that dark of a card, see? It's not real dark. Tower card's not that great. Nine of Swords not that great. This is the first of the month. Now, when, when we give you these messages, a lot of times they're in advance. So it's kind of like a warning. And, you know, if you want to take it that way, because these cards never lie. They, they really don't. Um, whatever caused this tower, whatever had you up in your head and caused this tower... Cause disappointment. Which either brought you back to zero point energy. Which is, I don't care. Whatever. Or you're choosing that new beginning and taking a leap of faith. Okay, that can go anyway. Okay. Now what's going to change? We got the Eight of Cups. The Page of Pentacles and Temperance. So, it doesn't look like you're going to hold back anymore. You might be coming back to a situation. And nobody's making any offers as far as m money goes. Oh, wow. That's the second time, Leo. Oh, goodness. Put those all back. I usually don't have this problem with Leo. It's usually um, Pisces and uh, Scorpio. Okay. Let's see. Make sure I got all my cards, yeah. Clarify. The Walking Away, the Page of Pentacles, and the Temperance, which it could also represent a Sagittarius. This is what's going to change. 
Oh, okay. So you're not fighting anymore. You, you're not fighting it anymore. Whatever the situation is, you're not going to fight it anymore. That's what's going to change. What's going to change is you're not going to walk away. Because this says you're going to walk away. This is going to change. So you're not going to walk away. There's not going to be any new offer. You might be dealing with a Sagittarius. Um, but you're tired of doing things in modesty. And you're not going to argue about it anymore. Okay? That's what's going to change. Oh, that's the end of the month. Sorry. And your challenge. Oh, my goodness. Oh, look what we got on the bottom of that. Death and rebirth. Your challenge is to me an Aquarius. Uh-oh. Mm. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. All right. Okay. I'm going to do these one at a time because this, this is a long story. All right. Okay. This is the truth. <coughs> Excuse me. Like I said, I'm getting over cold. This is the truth. And it doesn't come with a, with a hug most of the time. And this is your challenge. And your peace and harmony is probably going to be disturbed by it. Your nine of cups is probably going to be disturbed by it. Because somebody's lying. Somebody's trying to get away with something. Your money might be challenged. Because of some kind of addiction or a spiritual lesson. But you'll be all right in the end. This is your challenge. Serious Aquarian, Virgo, and Capricorn energy. And we just had that full moon in Capricorn. But somebody here has been lying. Either you or the other party. That's what's affecting this Nine of Cups, your wish fulfillment, because it's the truth. And it's going to disrupt the whole thing. This is the Peace and Harmony card. This is the, the everything's fine, everything's wonderful, everything's happy. Well, your challenge is the truth is going to disrupt that. It's going to disrupt your Nine of Cups. Because somebody's lying, possibly about money. And this is a spiritual lesson, or it's an addiction. Because you're sitting there with that one pentacle left. You go from the ten to the queen. So this disrupts your entire life, whatever it is, it's it's disrupting everything. It's it's screwing up everything. Whatever this lie and deception is, it's disrupting everything. Because and the and the devil. Because it I mean, look, guys. Your challenge is love, money, peace, inner peace, and the truth. All because Somebody's lying or has a probably lying about addictions. Addictions can be anything though love, money, people, um, you know, s substances, it could be alcohol, you know, it could be any kind of addiction. But it's going to completely mess up everything. So somebody needs to come clean here. 
All right. You don't want all that drama. I I don't know I don't know about you, but I I don't like drama. I don't like drama. You love life. We got Knight of Pentacles, Judgment, and the Three of Cups. I don't see this as a celebration. I see it as a third party situation because Judgment is here, and somebody's gonna make a judgment call on whether they're gonna go with the water sign. Or an earth sign. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and clarify that just a little bit further. Why are my cards doing that today? They're just jumping right out of my hands. Here it goes. Flipper. Okay. The hangman. Pisces. Maybe you're confused. Because if you're dealing with a Pisces, Pisces are very, very sweet and very hard to... And, and they're very... They're very hard to be mean to. <laughs> but once you can, you know, you can be mean to a Pisces. I'm a Pisces, so I know people can be mean to me. Um, and then you have this other Knight of Pentacles, which is, like I said, Virgo, Capricorn, or Taurus. More than likely a Virgo because it has to do with your your finances okay that Virgo has something to do with your finances so your third party situation is the Pisces okay and in your career and finances look what you got you feeling like your hands are tied. You have two choices. One is a message from a, from a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, and the other one is the Virgo card. Going within and seeking your answers. So, whatever this situation is in love is affecting your career and finances. So, Guys, don't let that screw you up, please. You're the sun right now. Don't let love screw up your money and screw up your your finances. In fact, I'm going to be putting good energy on this. No more, no more, no more crazy stuff. Just run smooth. Make the right choices, love life, and enjoy it. Let's clarify the Seven of Swords in your career and finances, which we already know is a choice between water energy and earth energy. Water energy, somebody who's kind, gentle, nurturing. Oh, wow. Scorpio. So... Now we got Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, and one Virgo. No, not Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Sorry, that's a Scorpio card. So it looks like in your career and finances, you're going to go through a death and rebirth. And it's going to include a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, a Scorpio or a Virgo because right now you're feeling like your hands are tied you have too many choices you need to make up your mind you're feeling like the sun right now but you, your ego is getting the better of you because 
this wouldn't be happening if you wasn't in your ego, okay? This is your challenge. Guys, come on. I know you had guys that are having a rough, had a rough month last month, so I'm not, I'm just trying to throw you some good vibes, so this month is better, because that's the beginning of the month. I don't like having to tell anything, anything like, like this. I like telling good news, happy news, you know, as a reader. We like, we like to tell people good things. We like to tell people happy things. We don't want to tell them about uh, having to completely redo their life to come out of this Eight of Swords energy. Okay? We, that's not fun. That's a, and you got the Queen of Swords on the bottom of that. More air energy. Okay. But. The good point of this whole thing is at the end of the month, you got more fire energy coming in. Could be you making a decision. Page of Wands. Okay? That leads you to your Ten of Cups. And you become the Queen of Wands. It's usually Sagittarius, but. It's fire energy regardless. So it could be Leo. Could be a Leo. This could be you at the end of the month. Is deciding to take your own power back. And getting that ten of cups. That wish fulfillment. And being in your own power. You made a decision. By the end of the month. You're going to make a decision. This month is going to be quite turbulent for you Leo. But I think I think you're gonna I think you're gonna get through it just fine. Yep. Six of Swords. Leaving what no longer serves you. Possibly taking a trip across water. Saying, see ya. I'm out of here. On the bottom of that you got the marriage card. You got the four of wands. Happy home, happy family. So you did make a decision. You found out who was lying. Got over whatever the devil energy was. Made that transformation. Possibly with the Queen of Cups. Decided to take your own power with the Cancer Pisces Scorpio. And became the king, queen of wands. And you're out of there. And you're, you're going towards your happy. Okay. So it ended. It ended great. You got a lot of turbulence going on this month though Leo. Take it easy. Take it easy babies. Let's see what the oracle cards got to say. The romance angels. And we'll take a couple hundred realms. And that'll be your read, okay? Wow, that was a long read. pop out there we go reward yourself oh it's only gonna take two but okay all right here we go we got reward yourself you've been giving a lot of yourself lately and it's time for you to receive make the time to reward yourself in a meaningful way this balance of giving and receiving is essential to keeping your energy mood 
your energy, mood, and motivation at a consistently high level. You have the opportunity to forgive. This situation brings you the opportunity to heal, grow, and release negative patterns. Hold the intention of seeing the other person's inner divine light and goodness. We will help you release unforgiving thoughts, feelings, and energies and lift you to a higher place of peace and compassion. Giving and receiving. Again, here we go. The entire universe operates in similar cycles similar in cyclical similar operates in goodness I can't read this morning sorry guys it's early the entire universe operates in cycles similar to your inhalations and exhalations when you only exhale give or inhale receive you become out of rhythm with the universe for optimal health, energy, and replenishment, balance each inhalation in your life with an exhalation. Time to go. The sun sets and rises each day, and it's the same with the avenues of, in your life. See the beauty within each of your each sunset in your life, and know that the sun will rise again tomorrow. Endings are merely a start of a new beginning, and we are with you through each phase and cycle. I told you it ended good. That was great. So, you know, like I said, these are possible outcomes. And everybody's situation is different, so, so you take what resonates and leave the rest behind. Um, but um, it looks like, you know, August may be a turbulent month for you. I'm going to start doing these every two weeks because the energy is changing so fast. Um, so I'll probably do mid-month to see where you guys are at. With the, hopefully, you avoided the tower. You handled the situation well, and you don't, you don't have to go through that. But whatever's got you in your own head right now, um, and it is troubling you, and you don't want to fight about it anymore, that's what you need to work on. And see what your love life has to say. Um, romance angels, give me, give me some cards. Oops, that's too many cards. All right, you know what? We got getting to know each other. As you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. Pay attention to the red flags. They are cautioning you. Romantic feelings. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. 